Well, hello. So you may have recently downloaded the black instrument panel for the analog steam gauge version of the Cessna Grand Caravan. So this means that you've obviously purchased or you have the analog steam caravan uh, mod. Some people have got it from Just Flight um, because the black panel that I have made will not work for the standard caravan. It only works with the um, black square analog mod that you can purchase. Um, if you don't have it, then it's not going to work. You're going to have to purchase it. I made this actually to where you're going to have to replace the files because right now you should be looking at this. You should be looking at a white instrument panel, um, you know, just like this. This is what you get from the sim. Uh, well, this is what you get from the black square add-on. You get a white instrument panel and you might say, well, I don't like a white instrument panel. I do like the steam gauges, but I want something of a different color. Hey, great. I made a black one for you. So let me show you how to install it. Okay, so I'm assuming that your desktop does not look like this, but that you did install, well, you downloaded the file and you're saying, well, I want to go ahead and I want to install this and I, I want to have the uh, black instrument panel. So then you should be looking at a file like this after you decompressed it with four files with a readme installation, which will also tell you how to do this. Um, and then the three files that we're going to be replacing. So that's the instrument panel, and that is the column, the throttle column, and the other stuff. So it's actually two files, and I just gave it a different interior. So we have all these three files. And of course, double click the README installation um, before you do anything else. So what we're going to do here is we are going to hide this window. And then we are going to go ahead and we are going to navigate to where our analog caravan is because we installed it. So we should have dragged and dropped it there or the installer installed it for us. So let's go navigate there. And here's the path for Steam users. Um, it's going to be in your community folder. So it's going to be similar. So take a look at the path and then we're going to navigate there. So the path is pretty much here as follows. It's going to be your C drive users, your username, whatever that might be. I don't know what your username is. Um, app data roaming, Microsoft Flight Simulator packages, community, black square, analog caravan, sim objects, airplanes. It's right there, that description right there. See, it's right there. I'll give you a minute to stare at it so you can write it down. It'll also be in the video description of this video. This is where you want to go to if you're a Steam user. If you purchased your planes from and your flight simulator from the Microsoft Store, then it's going to be a different path. And um, please go ahead and navigate to your community folder there. But you're basically just going to be replacing files in your community folder. So I'm going to go ahead and take this slide down because I'm assuming that you had enough time to look at it. And we're just going to go ahead and we're going to navigate to our community folder on this machine. So it's going to be this PC and you're going to go to your C drive and then you're going to go to your username and then you're going to go to app data and you're going to have to have the hidden files unhidden but you have to do that if you're going to drop in here anyways and you're going to go to roaming and then you're going to go to microsoft flight simulator and you can see the path forming right up here and then you're going to go to packages and then you're going to go to community so you should be there and that's basically what that big long description was it was community but then you want to find your caravan so black square aircraft analog caravan there it is 
You want to go to sim objects. This is all we were doing. That's all that path is. And you can type it directly in the menu bar. Airplanes. Black Square Aircraft Analog Caravan. This is where the files are kept. And these are the files that you're going to replace. Now, pay attention to what I'm doing because I assume no responsibility if you delete files um, doing this. And if you're not comfortable with doing it this way, I'm sorry I didn't make it an easy installer file. Um, but you're going to have to do some renaming and dragging and dropping. So the first thing that we do is we're going to do some renaming. Now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to navigate down here to our files and I'm going to pull up this one. So this is where we're at. So these are the names of our files that we're replacing. We're going to be dragging and dropping these in. So you want to find these three files, caravan underscore interior underscore two underscore albd.png. Same thing here. These are the file names that you are looking for, these three. So when you find them, you want to rename them. So go ahead and just drag and drop your windows like that. And you see there's one of them. The other one is all the way at the bottom if you have it organized this way. Where's the instrument panel? It's right there. This one is that one. And then we have L2, and L2 is, we just had it, we just had it L2. So these are the three files that you want to change. And I actually have my view set to like a picture mode. You may have your view set to details. You may have your view set to large icons, to medium icons, to a list. However you want to do it, I think large icons is great because that way you can see what you're doing and you can see the file you're looking for. And if you're blind, and sometimes I'm blind, I go to extra large icons. So we have our set to large icons. This really is kind of a moot point. I'm just doing this to show you the files that we're going to be doing. So because we're going to drag and drop these three files in, again, you want to find the original files. Now you are in... If you didn't make a copy of this and you downloaded it, this is the actual image files. And you don't want to replace them. Well, you don't want to overwrite them. You want to replace them. So it's really easy to do this. So you click once and it turns blue, right? You just click right there and see how just the, the name of the file turns blue. And then the cursor pops up right down there. See that? I clicked on it and it turned blue and my cursor turns up right there. So you're not double clicking it to launch it. And all you're going to do is type in parentheses OEM. You can do it caps, you can do it lowercase. Now make sure that you do this and then you find the next file. Because when I click on it, when I click on any other file, just one click, not a double click, it's now called OEM. Now the reason I did that is so that we're not deleting files by overwriting them. So it's the same thing. This is the other one that we want to replace. So I do the same thing and I just OEM. Just like that in parentheses, right? And then I look for this one. OEM. Now that just works for me. You can call it whatever you want. You can call it original uh, OEM just works for me. So now that I have these files like this, the three important files that I'm going to alter, right? Because I don't want the white instrument panel. And you can see there's the white instrument panel. I want the black one. And I also have to have this column and I'm just going to do this one. I'm now going to take my mouse and I'm going to highlight these. And I'm going to copy them, not just move them. And I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to paste them. Now, you might say, well, there's no room to paste it. OK, so if you're having a problem and you're like, I just go to Details. Change your view from Large Icons to Details in the View pane. Click in this area over here so you're not clicking on a file. Click over here, and then paste them. And I pasted by right-clicking my mouse, 
the right click button and it brings up this menu and then I hit paste boom now there's copies of files in there and I know they're there because if I go back to large icon view I now have two I have a light gray see I have the OEM and that one I have this and that right I have two of each and that's because I renamed it so if you don't rename it you're gonna get a pop-up window that's gonna come up and it's gonna say there's already a file like this here are you sure you want to replace it you hit OK you lose the original file so you can never go back until you download the original copy that's why I put OEM in parentheses so if you've done all of this you can go ahead and hide these windows okay and you can go ahead and you can launch the sim so we're gonna go ahead and launch the sim okay so now that we have the sim launched we can go back into our profile and we can go into our hangar and there is our black square analog caravan and you know that it's your black square analog caravan not because it says derp your hooves but because it's there so I have my custom derp your hooves livery on here and I'm gonna go click on the cockpit and there if you did everything correctly you should be looking at this you should be looking at your instrument panel that's black and a throttle column that's black and an interior headliner that's just a little bit lighter color of gray so that should be it assuming that you followed everything in the video correctly and then you go ahead and you do the installation this way you should have a black instrument panel replacing the white one and if you wanted to say go back to the white one all you'd have to do is just delete or move the three files that you copied over out somewhere else and then just remove the OEM or whatever you called the other files um, and put them back to their normal name because it's a naming convention thing and it'll bring it back to the white file so if you did it all correctly and you follow the directions that I showed you you should now be staring at a black panel like this with a um, you know black throttle assembly that works in the sim if you're looking at a pink checkerboard chances are it's missing the file that's what a pink checkerboard is it means you may have accidentally deleted a file so I'm gonna say that I accept no responsibility um, if you accidentally delete your master files doing this um, I'm doing this like this for a reason I'm doing this because there are people who have third-party liveries in the sim and they're like I you know the black square and blah 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 right this way you can use this and it's gonna be automatic every time you launch it it doesn't matter what livery it is and let's go ahead and see what it looks like in the sim really quick so this is what it should look like in the sim it should look just like this when you're parked with the engine off you should be looking at everything here you shouldn't be seeing a pink checkerboard if you followed my directions exactly how they're supposed to be you should be here now if you're saying but pony I don't have the steam version of Microsoft Flight Simulator okay well if you look in the readme file there's a link you click the link and in the link it shows you all of the different default paths for the different versions of the sim depending on where they were bought assuming that you bought it if you didn't buy it then you know you better figure it out on your own um, and then you probably don't need this tutorial video because you know what you're doing with something else um, so that's it I'll include those links so that you can navigate to your community folder there but you should already know where your community folder is if you installed this anyhow that's it if you're looking at a pink checkerboard again then you have deleted a texture or it's missing a texture because that is what a pink checkerboard means so we're just gonna go ahead and we're just gonna fire this up so I can show you that it works and then you can you can quit this if you want 
even before you get started. But here you go. That was the tutorial on how to do it, and that was the tutorial on how to load this skin in. And you can see that everything works just fine. Let's see, let's put fuel on. My fuel's off. Can't start the motor without fuel, pony. And that should be it. And you should be looking at an instrument panel like this. And by the way, that's also how you start the plane. And there we go. Really? You don't want to start for me today? So, thank you for watching Derp Your Hooves. Well, thank you for installing this skin. And I hope you enjoy your new black instrument panel.